Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will look at some Emacs features that I have collected together in the repository link below. Even if you do not intend to use Emacs, I hope this video would make you want your editor to do the same things. They definitely do exist sufficiently extensible text editors today. GNU calls Emacs an extensible customizable open source text editor. It has been around for over 30 years and should be around at least until keyboards exist and maybe even after that if someone writes an extension. But reasons of extensibility aside, besides editing code, people use Emacs for taking notes as well as managing to-dos using org. By the way, there is also a neat Android app for org mode. People use Emacs for browsing, for waving emails, as a file manager, or well, as the terminal itself. One of the neat things about using Emacs as a terminal is that you can cut, copy, paste, and manipulate text on the terminal just as it were some other regular file. In fact, one of the primary features of Emacs is that you do not need to spend time moving your hands from the keyboard to the mouse. You do not even need to use the arrow keys. You can use Ctrl N, P, F, B, D or Alt F and Alt B to move around text. These are fairly memorable keys. Control F and Alt F, forward character and forward word. Control B is backward character, Alt B is backward word. Control N is next line, Control P is previous line, Control D is delete character, Alt D is delete word. Basically, Alt is associated with words while Control is associated with characters. The double advantage is that these keys also work in regular terminals. Alt F, Alt B, sorry, Alt B, Alt F, Control K, Control Y. Control A, Control E, however, due to the existence of these keys, you do not have access to the Control F for finding. Instead, you have Control S for searching. But that in turn means you cannot use Ctrl S for saving. Instead, we have Ctrl X, Ctrl S for saving. In fact, a number of commands have Ctrl X as a prefix. One command is the Ctrl X, Ctrl F for visiting a file. This stands for both opening and creating a new file. Another is Ctrl X, Ctrl C to close Emacs. In the repository link below, I have provided additional shorter mappings for other commands that should be more convenient. Now, one of the things worth noting here is the integration of the terminal with the editor. In that, the folder in which find file that is Ctrl X, Ctrl F opens up is consistent with the folder in the terminal. The 
The other thing to note while using find file is that you do not need to leave the keyboard to open another file. You simply control X, control F, fuzzy search the required file, note the fuzzy search. We are not looking for an exact match. Maybe enter a directory and then open the file. This new file opens up in what is known as a buffer. You can list the open buffers. Or switch to another buffer. While switching files using tab or control shift tab or control 1, control 2, control 3 and so on. You need a bit of effort to reach the correct file. With Emacs, you only need to know a part of the file name. Not even the complete file name. Still another ability of Emacs is to run as a daemon. In that, a main Emacs process is running in the background. Files can be opened using Emacs client. This can be aliased. Now note the difference in the starter times between this and this. Depending on the number of packages you install, this difference can be up to a few seconds. What this also provides is another way to deal with files. Say we had opened up a bunch of files on one desktop. And we want to access one of those files on another desktop. Now instead of dragging the window all the way there, we can simply switch the buffer. In a way, all these clients are connected to one another and so can access each other's buffers. Those are some of the things I miss when I am unable to use Emacs. If these things are equally good in other text editors, please comment below and let me and others know. The third and last thing about Emacs is extensibility. Extending Emacs in minor ways is as simple as writing a function. Say for example, we have this function for renaming file and buffer. So you can rename an open file without closing it. We have this function and we have assigned it to a key called. So we can simply press Ctrl X Ctrl R, type in the new name, and we are done. There's another function I found online. That can be used for replacing symbols. This I have assigned to Control Shift R. While I assigned Control R to replace. By renaming a symbol, I mean I want to replace this is, but I do not want to replace the is inside this. Or maybe inside lisp. So you can write all sorts of different functions and assign them to key chords. And note that we are using a full blown programming language to write these functions. So you can write arbitrarily complex functions. Or maybe you can package them into packages. I am not discussing how to learn Emacs in this video. Someone else should have done it better. 
I did not find much mention about the previously mentioned functionalities, especially using Helm. It is this Helm mode that is providing fuzzy search and auto completion in all of the above. Without Helm mode, Emacs will look pretty daunting. Like, what are we supposed to enter here? Thank you for watching. Hope you got to learn something new.